Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about what are triggers or how to schedule your pipelines in Azure Data Factory. Let's start to understand with types of triggers available in Azure Data Factory. There is schedule trigger, tumbling window, storage events, and custom events. When you talk about schedule trigger, you specify one uh, uh, hourly, let's say, uh, I mean, you want to schedule one pipeline at 8 a.m. daily then you specify 8 a.m. then this is the uh, time i want to schedule on a daily basis that's it then tumbling window it's a heavyweight um, uh, scheduling functionality that comes with uh, other dependencies checks and also it comes with certain windows you need to run those kind of students will be available in the tumbling window i will make a separate video on this Let's move on to the third one, storage events, meaning like uh, when your blob is created, when you're trying to load from one place to another, uh, when a new file is created in the blob or file is deleted, then you want to trigger, then you can use the storage events. And apart from all these three, we have a custom events. When any other events happening that you can configure using custom events, uh, we can also trigger. So for our um, today's video we'll focus on the schedule triggers this channel contains a free content that covers the msbi power bi fundamentals of azure share this channel with your friends and colleagues so that they will learn the analytics contents for free and if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button so that youtube algorithm will know you like the analytics contents with this note let's begin our today's topic so i am in um, data factory now whereas um, we have a one pipeline uh, that i've recently created this is for uh, creating the triggers here right so this pipeline purpose is to load the data from our source uh, from exchange it and load it into my staging db that is available here i have uh, run twice so that you got the data uh, over here two records over here now let's go and uh, check it out um, how to schedule this on a daily basis for that in the pipeline you open a pipeline there is option called trigger there is option trigger now as well as new and edit let's try to create one choose a trigger i want to create a new trigger to instead of that daily um, schedule exchange exchange right spelling incorrect exchange rate there you go now as i said this is the uh, first type there are other types over here we are going to demonstrate the schedule one schedule start date is today and uh, i'm in uae so let it be here uh, current timing is 246 let's try to schedule um, around um, 248 right so that we can wait every not a minute it should be days and i should have every one days right and it should be 14 and minute should be 48 let's do 49 because it has to be published once you provide uh, this information right then you can click on ok ensure that we have published the data there you go so we have created one trigger now that will run on um, 249 let's now this has got published and where you can monitor it publish completed now you can go and check it out over here uh, the monitor and and the trigger runs okay let's try to refresh this one once it becomes 249 there will be a trigger will be appearing let's wait for a minute there you go now you can see uh, when the time hits the daily schedule exchange rate that 
just now we created has been triggered now the trigger is successful it the job may be failure or it can be um, success okay this is just a trigger runs now let's go and check the pipeline runs just now it has triggered like 249 and 19 seconds if you see here uh, maybe database is not accessible you can see here uh, the new entry has been created yesterday i ran twice uh, so this is the new entry right so this is how we got the data right now so this is how you can able to sh uh, trigger your pipelines if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset